Welcome to Spring Boot Microservice Tutorial Series. In this tutorial series we are going to show you how to implement production-ready microservice project using Spring Boot and Spring Cloud Frameworks. As the first step we are going to show you how to create service registry using Eureka Server. We use Netflix Eureka Server for building the service registry server and Eureka clients which will register themselves and discover other services to call REST APIs. As we know these days, there is a lot of momentum around microservices. The transition from monolithic to microservice-based architecture gives many benefits for future in terms of maintainability, scalability, high availability etc. To enable Eureka Server, you should add Eureka Server dependency. In the distributed computing there is a concept called service registration and discovery where one dedicated server is responsible to maintain the registry of all the microservice that has been deployed and removed. Throughout this tutorial series we use .yml file, not .properties file. Let's do the configurations. You should add two configurations to the project. First one, add at enable Eureka server annotation to the spring main file. Second one, add .yml configurations. As a best practice I will add spring application name and sever port, but those are not mandatory. However if you skip those, default values will be loaded for the project but we highly recommend to change default values. Please look at this picture. Throughout this tutorial series we are going to implement this kind of sample application. It has all the major building blocks of microservice architecture. Discovery service, config service, auth service, and student service. Now we have successfully developed production ready discovery service, in the next video, we will show you how to create production ready config service. Thank you for watching, have a nice day.